Hi, this is Kyle from Arcade Bros. If you're like me, you like a little joy in your life. We're proud to present that we are sponsored by America Joy Print Shop. If you need cut vinyl, store lettering, business printing, forms, car magnets, and anything else printing needs, America Joy is the one for you. When you contact America Joy, just tell them the Fern sent you. of the Arcade Brothers. I'm your host, Steve-O, player one, with my co-host, player two, Kyle. <laughs> and yeah, we are back. This is episode number 69, I believe. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, you even put that in the notes. Yeah. <clears throat> of course, you can find us at www.arcade-bros.com, part of the 4i radio network, also known as The Fur. For the more fur. information, visit 4iradio.com. And you can check out all the other great shows. You can also listen to us on iTunes, Stitcher, Zoom, Marketplace, Blackberry Podcast, Mural Guide, Mixcloud, and Double Twist by simply typing in Arcade Bros, also with Spreaker. Don't forget to also check out one of our other great sponsors, America Joy Print Shop, official sponsor of the 4i Radio Network. Business cards, flyers, posters, banners, cut vinyl, car wraps, and more. Visit AmericaJoy.com for more information. Tell them the Fern sent you. Also, if you want to get your graphics and illustrations and all this other kick-ass stuff designed, you should go to Raven's Designs, illustrators and designs that fit your personality. For samples and inquiries, visit ravencruise.com. Okay, before we start the show off like we normally start the show off, we have I some can't believe, breaking news. I can't believe you fucking put that in the show notes. I hate you. I what hate I you so much now. Just for the character spotlight, you dick. Um, but Kyle, we have some uh, shout-outs uh, this week. Got some shout outs on the social web. We got shout outs. Rest your head unless I call your name and then stand up and give us a shout out. Yeah. We do. This week we have a few uh, replies on Facebook and actually a lot more new follows on the uh, beautiful Twitter that we have. And of course, nothing likes to link up to nope, your nope, internet. Nope, nope, nope. It never does. There we go. That nope, sounds a lot still, better. Nope, still nothing. Oh, hang on. Still waiting. Wait, hang on, importing. Nope. Now it's in another language. Soviet Russia. This thing is you. Gotta love technology. When it works, it's great. When it doesn't, it sucks. Everybody has a history of dancing with yourself and times and nothing. Anyways, well then I'll just do it. Oh, we have uh, our first tweets are at Let's Level Up. Also gave us a follow is at Retro Unite. Also, who's also been following us and probably retweets his stuff, at Matthew Renfro. Also at Haji Kujo. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but... Probably. At Starfleet Escape Podcast, another spo- uh, sponsor, another uh, show people on the 4i Radio Network. At the Scruff Pixel, Scruffy Pixel. And at Confezer, Confesses, or Confezer. So, yeah, we got that going for us. We do. <clears throat> Boom. So, Kyle, what have you been playing this week? Uh, I couldn't tell you because I still don't have show notes. All right. Still waiting for the stupid thing to Well, let's respond. Just, just talk, then. I guess we could talk about our feelings. I like how Kyle's like, he's wearing this warrior shirt. I'm a warrior. He's a warrior. A beer. Um, warrior beer. Yeah, actually, I'm playing uh, Darksiders 2 again. I played a little bit more Scream. You're not done with I those played... games. Not yet, no. Darksiders is about three-fourths of the way done. Like, it's moving pretty quickly. You need to finish it. I'm like going to finish it. Just leave. Go. I'll see ya. And I'm back. Still not done. Ah! <laughs> but I uh, did that, and actually, I just got my Wii U in today, so hopefully Wee! later this uh, week, I'll post my ha- t- uh, tag or whatever, my Nintendo Club tag, and get that going on the web. I have Nintendo Land right now, and I plan on picking up a couple more titles for it once... Uh, the old uh, paycheck comes on. I in, would so. say recommendation. Well, probably I know the first game you're going to purchase is going to be Pikmin 3. <laughs> uh, but definitely highly recommend Mario Super 3D L- World. Mm-hmm. Highly recommend uh, Legend of Zelda. Mm-hmm. Ocarina. No, Ocarina. Uh, we're, yeah, Wind Waker. Wind Waker HD. Uh, Monster Hunter 3. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's uh, definitely one I was interested in. What else is there? I don't know. I can't even see my collection right now, so I don't know. Other yeah, ones. there's a Zombie U if you have that. Yes, yeah, so I have Zombie U. Right now they have it for like 24, I think, at uh, GameStop. Which yeah, is the only good. game I don't have is Pikmin 3, which I want to get because I think there's multiplayer on that. It is, yeah. So. There's multi. You can use either the regular controller or the pro controller. Actually, I might pick Wii. it up this weekend, so we'll see what happens. Ooh, pick it up this weekend. Very cool, very cool. Oh, and then I highly things. recommend Nintendo Remix. Ooh. Which you can just purchase right on the. Oh, that's kind of what I'm gonna console. do. And I also know you can get an SD card and plug that in and get more uh, space. So I think I might do that. So I actually, actually I already have an SD like thing. I just need the little. Yeah, I highly recommend it. So I'm still waiting for Matt Hines to add me on my Nintendo. Bastard. Yeah. Well, I guess yeah, he just picked that up this. Uh, week yeah, he or just so. picked his up as well. So. Actually, you should check out Target because he said he got like Mario 3D <laughs> World for like 20 bucks. Oh, I definitely have to. So. Do that. <clears throat> oh yeah, and then the new Super Mario Brothers Wii U is really fun. Yeah. So. Uh, I'm definitely excited, especially after watching you guys uh, play uh, over the weekend and stuff. It definitely has inspired me to get some of the old classics. Yeah, it's stuff. just a fun, just a fun system. I just love it. So, um, but yes, of course, I've been playing Nintendo Remix, uh, Devil May Cry for the Xbox 360. I finally, I've been telling everybody this, and everyone's looking at me like, really? But then I don't think everybody has actually beaten it. But I finally sat down, and also came up with a new segment. Kyle and I are gonna do once we get the um, the thing to start recording games. We're gonna do this thing called Backseat Driver where one of us will play a video game and the other person will sit next to them and mm. and commentary. But this. Kyle decided to uh, berate me during my Mega Man 2 venture, which I finally beat, which was fantastic. And now I'm working on I'm working on Mega Man 3, and I actually went to see some of the bosses that you have to fight, like uh, what works best on them. I would not guess this in a million years. What is Shadow Man weak against? Shadow Man? Yeah, Shadow Man. He's the guy like with the blades. Hmm... Uh, I have no idea. Top man. Really? Yeah. I was like, are Well, you I guess because you're blowing away the... Uh... No, but you have to, like, hit him with yourself. Like, you spin at him, like, that's the but top But isn't he, move. like, a ninja? Like, so should yeah, he that's be what like, I'm like, like... Yeah, I was like, this is the most stupid... Like, everything else made sense. It's all then like... Then again, it's Dr. Wily, so who knows? Like... Mm, my Wily, I'm chairman. Like, why um, Why would you build eight robots that could kill each other easily? Because he's... Well, okay, first off, in the first game, he didn't build the robots. No, he just stole the... T- he, stole, he stole the robots and turned them against them. So, to me, that goes, okay, Dr. Light was making a failsafe. Uh, for his robots, and then in the second one, that's when he decided I make my own robots, but they can hurt each other. Yeah, they're horrible. Because I'm smart, and then say so on and so forth. Uh, the other one I picked up was Fable Anniversary. Oh, um, very fun. Out. Yeah, it's, it came out I think this week or past week. Uh, really fun game. Still kind of like the same thing. Beefed up graphics. Looks really well done. Uh, still has the fa- funny like voices still in it where it's all like, oh hello there, ah, I'm Fable. Um, but can yeah, you go just... back and forth between the two to see the difference? Uh, no, you no? actually can. I don't think, but um, it does. It's working pretty well. I like it so far. Um, I couldn't. I forgot like everything from when I first played it. So I was just all like, what do I do? <laughs> and then uh, and then also I got to sit down finally and got to play the Xbox One <gasps> for a little bit. I went over to a buddy's house and we were playing the new uh, or not the new but the uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag for it. Uh, which I already played, so it was a lot of fun just sitting back. I like the controller. The controller is really well made, um, very light. Uh, rumble features, like, fantastic. I even like the new uh, triggers for it and everything. That because do the triggers bigger. themselves have rumbles in them? Yeah, or? like, everything seems to be a little bit bigger, a little bit, like, lot really spaced out for, like, what you need to do with the game and stuff. And then it's the same control scheme, so it was, wasn't, like, anything like, oh, my God, I don't know how to do anything. So it was really fun. I totally recommend it. I know if you're going to go shopping with your tax returns now, Best Buy, when I just went to this weekend, they... They had um, Xbox Ones were in stock, and same with PlayStation 4, so go ahead and check those out. Um, <clears throat> looks like our... Now, Kyle put this in just to spite me, I guess. But the, <laughs> but the character spotlight this week is the alien boss fight in Mega Man 2. Uh, so if anybody has not beaten Mega Man 2, I basically what happens is you go through this whole bullshit with Dr. Wily. Fucking dragons, fucking weird, stupid bosses crash bomb Bosses that are thing. like crash bomb bosses. Yeah, they're just piece of shits and then you get to wiley you kick his ass and then he runs away he's like ah! <laughs> and then you go to fight him again and he turns into an alien and at first you're like haha secrets revealed you're really an alien <clears throat> and then you kill him and then he becomes just not it was just like an illusion this whole time where he's just flying around but it was just like it was so pissed off but kyle was like was it worth it was it was worth it? it to beat the game and it was you know what it was it sounds good so, uh, what kind of video game news we got going on here this week? Well, we actually got a few things that uh, happened this week. We have, of course, uh, Sonic, I don't know if anyone knows, has gotten a new uh, facelift. 
Uh, they've changed like the gameplay. They changed the characters. Up oh a wow! Bit. Look at them. Yeah. So if you look at them up, like Knuckles is a little bit bigger. He's yeah, got, I like, saw that. Things. It looks like Sonic has a bandana now. Yeah. And I guess he pulls up sometimes when he's like running fast because obviously you don't want to oh. get stuff in your face. Tails is more mechanical again, and then they have the girl uh, Roxy, I think is her name. Oh uh, no, Rose. Rose. So she's got her Himala like she's had in the cartoon show, and it seems like they're combining all that kind of aspect. And they actually showed something cool in one of the trailers I saw was he was running, 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 running and then stopped, and then everything behind him like caught up where it was like. Oh. Like okay. a sonic boom so i was like okay so yeah they definitely changed it up quite a bit uh definitely it's multiplayer this time around so, somewhat like the uh uh ratchet and clank multiplayer that time the four player for okay. all for us uh it's kind of like that so definitely changing up definitely check it out it's uh coming yeah out soon it looks and... pretty good so i guess he's getting a new uh tv show it's called yeah, too. Yeah, sonic it's boom i guess it's gonna be called sonic boom a cgi cartoon Makes sense. Uh, you yeah, know, they're everyone. doing like a whole new rebranding, and that's the beauty thing about Sonic is like they can just new cartoon show, new this, whatever, and like it's always popular. They just keep it keeps coming back out, and it's really a really good take on it. Good time. I really want to watch this, but it's taking forever to load. Oh no! Well, we'll definitely, of course, post it on our uh, podcast on tomorrow. Very cool. Uh, the other news we had today was someone posted this. It was pretty interesting. It's basically on Day Z, like in the days, I should say. Yeah, days. If no one's played it or no one's heard of it, basically it's a, it's like an MMO, but it's with zombies. And like, what's funny about it is like all the comics are showing how people are just killing each other. And then like, as a side note, people are like, wait, there's zombies in this? Yeah. Like... Cause everyone's like so focused on like killing one another. Uh, so this guy has a Tumblr account. What he's done is he's gone through and kind of documented not so much the parts where people have been killed, but just like the weird situations like he's run into. Like one was like in one of those things, he loads the game. And right when he loads the game, uh, he met a guy who was just like, hey, how's it going? And he's like, oh, good, good. How are you doing? And he's like, great. And like they changed like he had a flower and the guy had like a can. So they changed and he left. And he said, and what was sad is later on when they went down the uh, down the ways, like he saw his friend dead. Like, mm-hmm. it was like he, like, must have been, like, killed by something. So he's like, oh, no. And then, like, um, he's seen that a lot where he's seen, like, sometimes they just wave at people. Like, he's like, I remember waving at somebody. And then, like, next thing you know, it was like he was dead. Um, so it's basically, like, a Tumblr account. We'll post a link to it where basically you can read, like, how people are, like, uh, one was, like, this guy shows up and he sees this group of uh, guys, like, all decked out in, like, armor and things like that. And he's like, wow, you guys are so cool. Can I take a photo? And they're like, sure. So they all posed for him to take a photo. And then they were just like, see ya. And they just, like, left. Yeah. Where normally, like, they would put guns on you or shoot you or yeah. handcuff you and kill you. So he says, like, a lot of times there's just been, like, these weird things. He's done a race with somebody where literally he was, like, running with somebody. Uh, he came across a guy who was, like, beating himself to death with a crowbar. Like, just, it's like all these random Yeah, there's like so much stuff that people just do that's just like weird in that game, but it's also just so much fun. And he says just like sometimes you spawn and like there's things that are happening like right there. Like he spawned, I guess, once and then like the guy was like, yeah, he found a castle and this dead guy at the bottom of the tower. He must have climbed up to the top and then fallen off the side of the staircase. Um, must have been heartbreaking for him. He had tons of excellent gear, and he said, like, I took everything I could carry. And it shows, like, the guy was all decked out in, like, military stuff, so, like, yeah, the guy must have worked really hard. He said one of the best things that he saw was this, is he goes, you can't really see in the picture, but uh, his friend was fleeing a zombie from across the field. Uh, his other friend came to be like, hey, man, what's going on? So then he got attacked by the zombie, so then he turned into a zombie, and then all of a sudden, like, you know, like, he's, they're both going after his friend. Oh, yeah. And his friend's like, don't hurt. And, like, the guy just sat back and watched it, but while he was watching it, like, next thing he knew, like, a zombie got him. Yeah. So he's like, you know, there's just tons of stuff, like, people going up to the ocean just in there. So it's really fun to read, and it's definitely fun just to watch because it's hilarious where this guy uh, – like, yeah, here's this guy. Um, yeah, he met a guy named Christopher. He had no mic. He asked to chat. He asked if he had a water pump and if he could share some beans with him. Yeah. And then, like, a couple items. And, like, hours later, he went to a warehouse, and he was, like, standing over, standing over him were two zombies over Christopher's body. Yeah. And it's kind of sad because you're like, oh, I just saw, I, I just helped this guy. guy. Yeah. yeah. So it's kind of interesting how they're doing it and stuff. So uh, definitely it's worth a look. We'll post the uh, Tumblr account. I think it's actually just heyareyoucool.tumblr.com. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just actually I just followed him on Tumblr. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty pretty wicked stuff, and he updates it all the time just to see what's going on. Yeah, that's something I always like to do is just get a group of people together and jump into that game yeah, and like, just play. Ooh. But i got to figure out what's going on with my Steam Did account. Did you see that one? Like... They posted it a while back where basically these guys jumped in, and they came upon this group of two guys, and they both had these yellow jackets on. And he's like, okay, he's like, here's how we're going to do this, because they surrounded them with the guns, and they had their hands up. Mm-hmm. And he's like, you're going to have a race, and whoever wins the race will live, and whoever doesn't win the race will die. And they're, like, laughing and stuff. But with that, all of a sudden, one of the guys just, like, takes off. Uh-huh. So they shot him. They're like, you lose. And then, like, <laughs> they made the other guy, like, you know, you're the winner. So he just goes, like, hooray. <laughs> and then they're like, you know, you now are the only one who can wear the yellow jackets. Your mission in life 
is to buy I'll find all those jackets. Like every time <laughs> someone has a jacket, you have to put it on, and uh, we're gonna check in with you check periodically to make sure you have it. And that's what the guy does. He goes around killing people and taking their jackets. That's funny. And then like they gave him like a can of like rice or something like that. Like here's your rice, and he was just like yeah, and like they laughed and they're like see ya, and then they that's just took so off. Funny. And everyone was really like, standing there like what the hell just happened? And they made him put like their knives in the center. Like you know everyone put your weapon down. Like they really like planned <laughs> it out. That's funny. Uh, the other thing we have is like obviously they've launched. Uh, there's two uh, things you can watch now. There's a uh, a game calling out called uh, something of the fallen, like Lords of the Fallen. Okay. It's a game that's uh, one guy was making. He has a group of team members, and basically it's like if you combine a tactic game, a Zelda game, and a God of War game, like all in one. And okay. It, uh, you just play this character who you have fought in these devils and things, and it's like very uh, tactical. Well, there's 11 minutes of gameplay of that that just came out. It's gotten a lot of good reviews from, like, PAX and a lot of, like, E3. Like, it's been really, like, a lot of people are like, oh, it looks really slick. Uh, coming out, I think, next year for PS4 and Xbox One and those titles. Those systems. And then, of course, now there's EverQuest and Next, which is coming out. They have the first 11 minutes that you can watch uh, of that. Oh, okay. But watching it, like, EverQuest used to be very high detail, very, like, D&D, very, like, yeah. elaborate. And after watching this one, this one, lo- Next, looks more like Wildstar. And if no one's seen Wildstar, it's very more cartoony. It's like an MMO as well. Wildstar, okay. It's this new MMO. They actually just got the uh, key for it. They just sent me a thing saying we're doing a beta test, so here's the key. Uh, the, the Wild Star looks awesome because it's like there's two factions. It's very cartoony. There's all these things you can do. Like you could be a warrior explorer where you just go out and explore. Mm. You could be a warrior cook and you just like make meals. You can build things. Like that one guy had a huge mustache and he was like building stuff. All these different species and races and each one has like different abilities. Uh, one is like these ones that are called the engineers and they actually build their own armor. Oh. So then they're like mechs almost as they're walking around and stuff. Um, very customize cool. everything like literally down to like your gun could have like a fish bowl sitting on top of it for <clears> no reason. Uh, so this EverQuest next, there's footage you can find. We'll post a link. But basically, to me, it looks very similar to like uh, a combination of Dishonored and like this Wildstar game. Like, okay. It's cartoony, but they have like the elongated features mm. and like I don't know. Like I'm not sure if I like the style, but definitely like you can see the footage and kind of see like what you're getting into. With the okay, new well, we'll definitely post that up on so. the, on this thing. Um, let's see, and then Goat Simulator for the win. Oh yeah, what is this? This is a game where you play as a goat. And you just run around as a goat, you ram things, you eat things. And <laughs> the video is like basically he goes into like people are having a Christmas, like a birthday party. Yeah, a birthday party. He just, just knocks over the table and just starts eating everything. And then some guy comes up with a pinata stick and is like trying to usher you now, out. Now, is this going to, now, are they going to add Adam Sandler to this? I have no idea, but I know. It like, is dark. I cannot see you. Come closer. <laughs> it's hilarious. Though, it is pretty funny. It's a simulator it's like that, yeah. Knocking it's like, down don't people. Don't it's, and the funny part is, it's really like well done graphics. Like it's nothing like. Yeah, it's not just like a che- cheapo, cheapo thing. It's like. I know what I'm spend it this this is like amazing frog now where it's like yeah this, yeah no point to this game and just do whatever you want yeah so you just run around good. as a goat like ramming things and eating things that was like the best i saw is like you hit the kid who was hitting the pinata the pinata split open and all the candy fell out so then the goat ate all the candy and as the children came closer to try and pick up the candy he just started ramming the kids away <laughs> and just eating it all up and they were just like so upset I just want to, we should do that now and then just like videotape the uh, outcome and just be like, I'm a goat. Yeah, it's crazy. Ow. You know, you know, I just want some candy. Oh. Ow. Ow, give me some delicious jujubes. <laughs> They're good in your belly. Yum, yum. yum Eat them up. Ow, it's crazy. I'm a goat. No, it's all goat. Uh, the other only uh, uh, the other news we have coming out is Transformers. I guess is making oh yeah, an I MMO heard about this. Well. They're making an MMO. Uh, looks pretty good. I mean, basically, if you've played any of the new ones that came out with uh, High Moon Studios, yeah, so I never played... got to play. I played the first one. I never yeah. got to play. Uh, was it the Fall of Cybertron? Right, I think Fall it was of called, Cybertron. But, yeah, it was a fantastic. And game. this one's just called uh, Transformers Universe. Universe. There's a opening movie you can see. It looks like Optimus is a little different, but basically, like yeah, you pick your different classes. You build like a tank class, which obviously a little bit bigger. Rogue class. There's like a uh, warrior class. There's all these different classes and based on that you can basically make your own uh guy yeah two factions Decepticons and Botabots. I mean it's like as 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 like dumb as it sounds like it's a genius idea like yeah it's make like your something, own. it was something that they were probably sitting on going like why haven't we done this it's yeah like, well because everyone obviously like they like this you obviously interact with the main characters Mobile, Optimus Prime yeah or Decepticons but I think what's really cool about it is like yeah literally if I want to be a motorcycle guy because I love bikes like I can customize my character all the way down to the you know yeah to the to everything so I think that's pretty slick so what would you what, okay if you, what you okay first off which faction would you be on uh, definitely Autobots Autobots, Autobots would and then what would, you, what would you pick what, what would be your vehicle of choice uh, I'd say something definitely either like paramedic where i could be maybe a healing class something like that like i don't know if they have something like that involved yet but uh 
definitely like something where it's yeah you know, like kind of like a me- medium build where you can be enough to withstand damage but also enough to you know heal and help out like that you have that gun that you could heal people in the other game so hashtag test your metal That's yeah cool. transform transformers universe definitely uh videos join out. the beta join the master beta Fajita. Very good. Yeah, I would have to go against you then. Ah. I would definitely be a Decepticon. Decepticon. You Decepticon or Decepticon? I'll be Decepticon. And then I would be, I'd probably be like a jet. Oh, I that'd think. be fun. I'd be a submarine. A then. fighter jet. You'd be up in the sky like, I'm going to kill you, God. I'd be just in the water like, now I'm making bubbles. Oh, he's under the water. Oh, I can't get Oh, I'm going to make this like Red October. Yeah, and I had to talk like Sean Connery then the whole time. We're hot in the Red October. Strider coming soon. Now, this is that uh, Capcom game we talked about, I think, sometime last year. This is a remake or a reboot right. of the franchise where they're doing back to the side-scrolling uh, game. Yeah, and it was out for the old Sega. It was out for Nintendo. And it was also part of Capcom versus Mar- uh, Marvel. They had in, uh, his character, Strider, and a lot mm-hmm. of people didn't know who he was. But they've redone it where basically you have... Uh, top scores, all these different type of things. It's all 3D. You can actually combat with different things where you can actually strike back things. Uh, it looks awesome. Like I, I'm definitely impressed with it. Like It looks like it's going to be a really neat take on the side-scrolling. They're definitely adding all different appeals where it shows them like, run along the wall. Even yeah. There's a part where he runs on the screen with his feet hitting the glass. Oh, very cool. Kind of thing. Like They're breaking that kind of third wall. So I think it'll look good. And obviously, it's in the works. It's coming out pretty soon. So we'll... Uh, yeah, See I look forward do. to that. I mean, Capcom, with their kind of rebranding, I would say, with the Devil May Cry franchise and them doing this, even with the new D- the DuckTales game that they did as well, it's like it's just a smart like thing to do. Just take these old characters and make them... Uh, yeah, so it looks like Tuesday, February 18th, Xbox 360, 1, PC, and PlayStation 4 and 3, fourteen ninety nine. And then uh, Friday for the PC, it's uh, February nineteenth for fourteen ninety nine. This game comes out. Very so. cool. Pretty much, yeah. When we launch, like th- this next following weekend, it's gonna already be out. Yeah, so. we'll have it. We'll play it. Be, uh, we'll be like, look at be us. Nice. Look at us. Do I? Uh, this is the new. Okay, yeah. You were talking about this yesterday. The Amazon uh, buys a video game studio. Yeah. So now, what did they buy? Basically, video game developer Double Helix, which is the ones who've made the remake of the uh, Killer Instinct, they purchased. So Rare the has nothing to do with this. No, I think okay. Rare let go the rights of that, and like Double Helix picked it up, or either Microsoft picked up the rights, mm-hmm. similar to what they did with Gears of War. They bought the rights for Gears of War from Epic, and then they put uh, what was a Tusk Black Tusk okay. Studios as like making that version of it. So like they're start a lot of the companies are doing that, like EA, like EA had. Dead space, but they were like they backed it, but they basically let them run it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's kind of what's going on here with Microsoft. They're trying to be like an EA with the game market. They have Microsoft Studios, and they just want to kind of go out there and find like the next thing. Uh, so basically, what they did is they purchased the Double Helix, which was owned by Microsoft. Uh, so it was weird. Like with the Microsoft owned the rights to Killer Instinct. They had Double Helix build it. Double Helix made the game, and then because they were still kind of like a free agent. The Amazon came on and bought them. I guess Amazon's main purpose is they're trying to build a system. Mm. Like they want to do like an Amazon system, similar to like the Kindle, where like you'll have like the same thing where you watch your Hulu on there. You can watch the Amazon like videos, how like they have their own thing. It's like a Google, like Google's working you know on what one. I think it's funny with this. Like everybody wants to make a system now. And it's crazy. No, which is fine though, but I think how we're we're so much more. Um, open to it because yeah. remember back in the day when it was Nintendo and PlayStation and then yeah. Xbox is like, like Microsoft were like fuck in. Xbox fuck Microsoft yeah, we're like, like, screw we're, those so, guys, yeah. like, we're like screw those guys and like it was so like pissing on like other people well I think now because stuff. just the technology is there with all these Android app like yes. uh, games and that's why I think Marvel, um, Nintendo is getting smart where they're saying well look we have the Wii U it's basically like a tablet let's allow like it to work on things like what's cool is uh, big news everyone I actually got a, a honored I got a phone call from this guy Wally up in uh, Nintendo America Europe why why yeah well his like Wally crewed up and I was like oh hi like I, I you know I missed the call and I was like what well, this was weird mm-hmm. like Nintendo because they said something about Wii U so I was like, oh, did I, get the, did I win a contest? Like, what's yeah. this about? So then I ended up calling him back, and he was like, oh, yeah, we want you to develop for the Wii U. We want you to, like, oh. build the game. So I was like, okay, well, like, what's all involved? So they sent me all this info. I had to fill out a lot of paperwork. There's a lot of, like, you can use our logo, but it has to be, like, this way, this way. They're very strict about their thing, but they're very open, too. Like, they're very, like, very friendly. Like, I came into the forums. They give you a free Unity uh, license. Yeah. They give you all these things, and then you have to purchase a dev kit. Now, what's nice about it is the dev kits are expensive like there's the basic model that allows you just the tablet 
and then you can get like a deluxe model that has a bigger space, has all the controllers, even Wiimotes, so you can test everything and okay. make sure it works with everything. Uh, you don't have to pay for it right away, so you can basically develop a game, release a game, build that revenue, and then at the end of the year, you have to pay for so the what are we device. Making? Well, I have no idea. But basically, yeah, I have a... It's open free reign, like where they're like, you want, we want you to develop for it. So what's nice is because I was already developing stuff for the Oya, mm-hmm. they use Android technology now, so mm-hmm. you'll be able to port a lot of this stuff like over and kind of work with it. Also, that'll be pretty impressive. So very nice. We'll get on that because I gotta make yeah. money. So I, gotta... I thought of a great. I'm doing a great take on Boy and His Blob. Mm-hmm. Boy and His Hatchet, and basically the Blob is just like a meat sack full of like parts, and you go around just like slaughtering people, and like you fill up the sack that That's follows horrible. you. No. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah. No, like you have to give it a hand for no, it to do No, what you stuff. need to do is you need to make a boy who's really a robot who has oh. to fight eight other robots da, 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 and then he goes fight this other guy who he's turns out to be an alien, alien and then he's not. Alien. But he'd be super. It'd be super. <laughs> yeah, then it's like the whole time it's like Sleuther. That's what you are. Ah. I'm not a boy, I'm a man. Ah. So Borderlands 2 is coming to the PS Vita and also a Slim one is coming Basically, out? Basically, yeah, the Slim Vita is coming out. It just got announced today and it's going to be a Borderlands exclusive where like, you know how they had the Kratos Slim? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like red and stuff. Well, this is going to be a Borderlands 2 Vita stylized. It's going to have Rat Claptrap and things like that on it. Oh, and then cool. it'll have the game installed already. So basically, you'll be able to play Borderlands 2 right off the bat when it releases. Brand new Vita, 200 bucks. So I think it's pretty good that they're starting to release that kind of stuff uh, all together. Kind of starting the bundling. Like, you've seen that with Nintendo did that all holiday. Oh, yeah, Nintendo. And they owned it. And that's why now I think a lot of companies are doing the same. We're like, oh, we got to bundle. Like, they have the Titanfall now. Yeah. Bundle for that with the system. They have, like... A Destiny one already in the works. They have yeah, all these like, things, like I mean, bundles out. are like such a smart idea, um, which is just like say what? Bundle, bundle, everyone's got a bundle. I think there was something else I just saw today, and I forgot already what it was about. Let me just check real quick. Well, this isn't video game news. But yeah, Lords of the Fallen was the one thing that I was talking about. Uh... Yeah, so what were you going to talk about? I was going to say, uh, video, video game uh, news aside, this is uh, very important. This is someone who we knew throughout our entire childhood, but uh, Scruff McGruff, the crime dog, has been arrested. It's true. The man who voices Scruff McGruff has been arrested for uh, pretty much marijuana and uh, a bunch of weapons, a grenade launcher also yeah. as well in his work. So Tons of pot he was He was really t- trying to take a bite out of crime. So Literally by himself. If you do want to write to him, you can write at Scruff McGruff, Chicago, Illinois, 60692. Those are the two articles I forgot about. So we'll this Flappy on. Bird thing that Yeah, happened. what is this Flappy Bird? So basically Flappy Bird is an app, and you tap the, basically you, wherever you tap on the screen, the bird flies to, and it's got these like little warp holes. Basically mm-hmm. they look like little rip-off of Mario sprites where they are the warp pipes. Okay. And if you hit them, you die. And that's like, that's, there's a challenge to get through the level by like flying through, and you have to flap up or down. It's a very challenging game. It's very addictive. It also blew up where like blew up like Angry Birds where it went from a three days selling like about five thousand, then the next day tripling to like fifteen thousand, then the next day it was like twenty, twenty five, thirty. Okay. Now it's like fifty thousand downloads a day and people are hooked on it, people love it. Well the oh the creator of the game I guess got too stressed with it like affecting his personal life, so uh-huh. he took the game down. Oh. And so a lot of people are like, Well, once he realizes like all the money that he's just made on this, like then he'll put it back up probably. But he's like not right now, like took the game down and was like, No, no. So of course now all these people are trying to profit off of it because they're like, Oh, well I have a Samsung S four with the the game ah. you want the game well it's going to cost you a thousand bucks so it's going to cost you this like people are trying to profit off of it but everyone said like just wait it out like he'll get he'll put it back on and i think what will happen is a game company will come through be like listen like i'll pay i'll pay you interest you can live quietly because i guess was the problem like he's trying to live quietly and then he started getting bombarded with all this fan mail Flappy bird! he didn't understand like he was just like oh it's just a little game i made so i think hopefully what will happen is the studio will come by pay him off and, and then that's all just i need i just it. need a really bad shitty game yeah it's addicting I was going to come up with Flappy Dick. <laughs> <laughs> I got your Flappy right here. Oh, then there's the other thing. Watch Dogs has been delayed again, but only for the Wii U. Oh, okay. So everything else is fine. Everything's still going as far as we know, but that was delayed for the Wii U. Yeah, there was really a story that utilize... came out that said it was canceled, and then yeah. it turned out that someone was actually trying to get the rights to it. There's a whole controversial about that. Right. So uh, Watch Dog, I don't know. I'm I'm getting worried about Watch Dog now. I honestly think we'll never see the game. Like uh, I'm going to basically Dog... count on it out, and then when we see it, we'll be like, great. But Watch Dog is one of those games that I'm very getting worried about. Like They've shown it at all E3 so far yeah. within the last three years now, and the problem I'm having with it is everyone's getting excited about it, 
but it, I have a feeling it might be one of those games that you're just going to be like, this is the greatest thing ever. And then when it finally comes out, everyone's like, we waited this yeah, long Yeah, it's going to be like the Shemnu. Like, Shemnu sucked. Like, everyone's like, oh, this game like looked beautiful. Uh-huh. But it's like, I'm driving a forklift like half the game. And then oh, like, yeah. the next game was like, oh, wow, this is when they put all the stuff you wanted but, to yeah, do. But yeah, it's it. like one of those games that I have a feeling that's going to be, it's getting that curse of the hype. Yeah. Where it's like. Unfortunately, uh, like, well, I think what killed it was you had the hype and had the game come out when it was supposed to. I think the sales would have been through the roof. It would have done well. We would have had our reviews out. We'd everyone be talking about it. Maybe DLC would be coming around this time. Mm-hmm. But because you pushed it back, I think it killed the hype. And now with like news like this, like now it's canceled for the Wii, or now it's something else, or now it's delayed for this, and now it's yeah, like, it's just I think like, it's just you're seeing like the the Last Guardian, like it's just the writings oh, yeah, on the wall where you're like, where, La- where the hell's that? Yeah, if I ever see the Last Guardian, I'll be surprised. It'll be the last time. It'll be the last time. <laughs> uh, yeah, if anybody knows what we're talking about, the Last Guardian the is last actually by the creator who made. Uh, Ico yeah, and, Ico and uh, uh, Shadows, Shadows of the Colossus. Colossus. And this was actually supposed to be the third game in the trilogy that was supposed to wrap everything up because apparently all the games kind of tied together. Yeah, supposedly. And like... literally how uh, Shadow of the Colossus ended, it does make sense for what they were showing us with The Last, Last Guardian. Guardian. And it was supposed to come out for the PS3 and it looked phenomenal. It looked really interactive. It was like, oh, this is going to be really cool. And they ca- they it literally had one trailer, I think, for E3. Yeah. And then we had And I loved it too because Penny Arcade did that one strip where like this is going to end one of two ways. Either this is going going to happen or this is going to happen and either way you're going to cry yeah like that's they did it a strip even because even they were like this looks awesome yeah now is it like no one's seen anything else for yeah, it. Yeah, they yeah. kept saying oh we're working on working we're working on it and we haven't seen anything the and then left, we thought the we thought back. we thought it, they were, it was coming out because they re-released uh shadow colossus yeah Ico and we thought like good they're trying pack. to I was like okay you're gonna get all those people into it again which is that's another game i need to pick up i love shadow colossus yeah. like that was just a game like just give me i would love to see a shadow colossus movie like that would exactly just be, like and doesn't even have to go into theaters or what not just like even like an animated yeah, one or something, something like that yeah. like because it was just uh, like it oh was... it would be good as they did like the Bat- dark knights and all those other ones yeah, like yeah, the yeah. animatrix where they just get all these different artists yeah, to different do art- it and, like, oh that would be amazing miyazaki looking. give yeah, miyazaki on there because he's retiring so he could just have a studio dude i think miyazaki should just do shadow of colossus that would be pretty wicked that would be pretty wicked you know what miyazaki was gonna do and then they gave it to some other studio they studio ghibli actually had the rights to do the little nemo movie that wouldn't surprise There's me. There's actually yeah, that a little was... bit of trailers or little like anim or like, animations they've actually did of like a little short like thing. Like they literally came into the creators like here. This is what well, that was like do. the Pixar first film was gonna be the uh, the one about the monsters on the island with the kid with the crown. Yes. Like where the wild things are. Where the wild he things was, were. There yeah. was gonna be their first movie, and they were doing it, showing them like look what we can do with the uh-huh. computer. And I guess Disney was still like. Oh yeah, Ooh. that was yeah Disney. I remember that he was talking about the brave little toaster. Yeah, and he uh, went to Disney or the head guy at Disney at the time, and they were doing really good work. And then he asked him, he's like, "I'd like to do it in CGI." And the guy's like, "How much will it cost?" He goes, "It will cost about the same." The guy goes, "No, just do it how it is." He goes back to his office, gets a phone call, and was fired that day. Yeah, and then literally left, and then like was on this like boat, and then found out about the Pixar stuff or the the company that was uh, started by Steve yeah. Jobs, and then he went over there, and then now look at him, he's like, he runs this he company, runs it, and yeah. then Disney comes back, is like, "Yeah, yeah, can you guys do? It? Yeah, come on back, can you do stuff for us." Uh, yeah. Before we uh, close out the show, we'll talk about the upcoming game releases. Um, of course, Last Guardian's never coming out. Nope. Um, we have uh, Watch Dogs probably never coming out. Nope. Um, Infamous Second Son comes out in March 21st. Uh, Final Fantasy PS4 to be decided. Destiny Xbox One, PS4, PC, September 14th, unless that changes. Oh, yeah, this looks good, too. EBA Ninja Gaiden Z. What is this? This is basically a new Ninja Gaiden that they're coming out with. Well, they put an easy mode on this. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> no, they won't. This one looks good, though. Like, it looks more uh, intuitive. It looks more of, like, uh, it's more of a revenge saga than it is, like, whatever Ninja Gaiden 3 was. I don't so, know. What's coming out I, last Ninja Gaiden game I played was Ninja Gaiden 2 for the Xbox 360. No. So. I think I remember playing the first one for the... What was it, the Xbox? Remember when they remade it for Xbox? Yeah, and that one was... I got to the second yeah, boss and like, beat him. I was like, what? I remember, yeah, graphically, I was like, what the hell? This looks awesome. Um, yeah, I, they would be really cool if they could... Uh... If they could, uh, like, if they deliver it well or something like that. Yeah, but the art style looks really slick on it. Like, it reminds me very much of... Uh, basically, you have a robot hand, you have your blade, you do a lot of, like, combos and things like that. Kind of reminds me of Shinobi, if anyone ever played that. Yeah, Shinobi was a really fun game. That was yeah. actually a game that came out that I thought was really good, and then they never did anything with it. Yeah, it was, like, very underrated. We gotta just put this music back in. Uh, of course, we got Watchdog, which is never coming out. 
Uh, Final Fantasy X1 and X2 not only coming out for the PS3, but for the PS Vita on March 18th. Uh, South Park Stick of Truth uh, is coming out March 4th, unless it's already come out. I'm not sure. Because I have seen things about it already, like, but I don't know if it's actually yeah. coming out. Uh, maybe reviews Oh, this has got already. zombies in it. That's what the Ninja Gaiden is all about. Oh, okay. Super Smash Bros. 4 will be coming out sometime this year uh, for the Wii U and the 3DS. Kyle and I are going to multiplay online. I'm going to wail on his ass because Kyle doesn't realize that this is my jam. I'm going to school you with Jigglypuff so hard. I'm going to jiggly your puff so bad that you got nothing. Flappy Dick coming to you. (laughs) New Challenger! (laughs) Flappy Dick! (laughs) Nintendo's like, we just love the idea. And he'll have a crazy crazy mustache. Somebody, um, some studio will pick it up because they're like, yeah. oh, but uh, 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 we got Donkey Kong Car- Tropic Freeze comes out later this month, February 21st. Kyle and I will actually, what we'll do when that game comes out, I know I'm going to pick it up. Oh, I don't yeah. know if you are, but I'll definitely, we'll come over, we'll sit down, we'll do yeah. a multiplayer mode on it, see how we like it, come in, talk about it. Uh, we got Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, it keeps saying this year, but I don't think it's not sure. But I know like year. it's moving along. Like they were talking, someone hinted the same thing uh, you were saying about like, well, what about like Star Wars? And this yeah, I've been talking about Star Wars. I was talking about the Marvel universe. I'm and like, all they showed all... was they showed a teaser where it showed Goofy as Gorsh. who was Goofy? Goofy kind of looked like Chewbacca. And then yeah, Donald, hoo-hoo-hoo. Donald looked like Han Solo. Uh, he had a vest and stuff, so everyone's like, "Oh, well, oh, maybe." So no one knows yet. Ha ha! And I'll be Darth Vader. No! Uh, we got Elder Scrolls Online PC. April Elder 4th. Scrolls. Elder Scrolls. Uh, the Mario Kart Wii U will be coming on the spring as well. Uh, we also have the Wolfenstein. Oh yeah. Uh, to be decided for all the other stuff. Um, and then uh, before we close out the show, I didn't realize we had a Get Gaming Question of the Week. We had a few, yeah. I posted a comment uh, on Facebook a while back saying, did you ever get a birthday system? Uh, and if you did, like console for your special day, like which was it? And were you pumped about it? Were you like disappointed? Were you running away like when you got it? Uh, so <laughs> I wanted to find out from everyone, like, what was the deal? Okay. Uh, so like me, like, I remember my, the, the one I just got that I'm really excited about is I got a Wii U and that's like, really, it was like, Oh Jesus. Like I, I like, I was talking about it. Didn't think I was going to get it. Lindsay found a good deal. So I was like, sweet. So Double then like, dong. yeah, dong, flappy dick. And then like, uh, I got it. So I'm like pretty pumped about it. But the, my first one was the Genesis. Yes. I remember that. Cause I got that gen- the Genesis and it was like, you send away and you got Sonic two and it came yeah, with you, Sonic. Yeah. You got Sonic the Hedgehog one. I think you got an extra control. And then I think you got like Sonic- Echo the Dolphin. Dolphin. Yeah, Echoes when I got with with uh, as a spare purchase, and then like you could send away with the yeah, rebate. you could send away with forty nine four nine eighty five for the shipping, and they'll and send you, you Sonic too. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, sweet. Free. So I had one and two, and I was like, oh, this is great. Uh, and that was cool because that was the first time Tails was introduced. It was kind of two player. Like, yeah, that was our first. Uh, that was the first introduction to our si- uh, like sixteen bit system. So yeah, it was the Sega Genesis. So that was pretty sweet. Uh, how about you, Steve? Do you remember your first system? You My got first that? system I got. I remember the best one that our parents ever did to me. But the first one I got was the Super Nintendo. Um, that was really awesome because everybody else got went with Sega Genesis. Yeah. And I went with actually the dominant system. Domination. Because if you look at all the specs, you eventually got a thirty two X. Yeah, I ended up. I just no. stuck it into the Super Nintendo. Yeah, but yeah, no. That. But then they had the same deal going on. I got Super Mario World and Star Fox. Yeah. And then they had the rebate deal where I got the Super Mario All Star. So it was kind of funny. Wicked. It was pretty funny because Kyle, Ryan, you and Ryan, uh, my our other brother, they got Sonic Two, and then I'm like, I got Mario All Stars. I got four games of mine, and they're like, I hate you. Yeah, it was cool because it came with like even like the Game Boy ones we couldn't find, or yeah, even some. Yeah, well, we got the Lost ones. World one. Yeah, yeah, Lost World. We were like, what the hell is this? Yeah, so. what was that? So that was really fun. The best one I think was when I asked for the PlayStation, the first PlayStation. Yeah. And uh, mom and uh, our parents had this thing where it's like you would open up your gifts and then it'd be like a controller. And they're like, I don't have the system. I wonder what I'm getting. But it came down to my birthday where everything I opened and the last thing I had to open was like this big of a box. It's a, it was a really small box. And I opened it up and there was just the picture of the PlayStation my dad cut out from the newspaper. And I thought it was such a genius idea. Yeah, like, good I was job. like, are you serious? But then we flipped over. It was like, look upstairs. And it was upstairs. So I thought that was an ingenious way to do it because he's, they've always done that, especially yeah. on Christmas. Like, you yeah, I remember like up. I think one year we got like I got a remote. And I'm like, what's this for? And then you went upstairs, like the TV was hooked yeah, up. Like, oh, cool, a 13 inch TV. Yeah. Woo! Emerson so, 13 inch. A uh, good buddy of the show, Matt Hines, he got his NES when he was seven. Seven. And, and then it I was guess. most pleasing. I guess uh, Michael Mumphrey, his friend, also got the same. He got an NES, but he got it when he was eight. Oh. Uh, we had Cheryl Goldberg got herself a PlayStation on her 13th birthday. She played the hell out of Crash, Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot, yeah. It's a good game to play it on. That's, I think, all we had this week. Yeah, I think that's all we had this week. So, again, if you want to follow us, check us out on the Twitters, Ooh. at arcade-underscore-bros. Also, don't forget to visit us at arcade-bros.com. You can also follow me on the Twitter, at Stephen Mooney. 
Jr. on the Twitter or my Instagram at S Mooney Jr. I'm also on Tumblr and all that other bunch of other Beep. podcasts that we have as well. Kyle, where can they find you? Uh, you can find me at Mooney Studios. And if you go to our website, you can see our gamer tags. Uh, eventually, we'll have my Nintendo one up there once I figure out what I want to call it. You're going to call it Broken Robot. Probably. I'm going to try, but if that's already taken, it's I'll not. have to go with Flappy Dick. Don't see if that flappy. comes up. You probably can't. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but it would be the at symbol, like Flappy, <laughs> like Happy. <laughs> They'll be like, uh, is your name Richard? No. Delete. Yeah. <laughs> like, wait, no. And your system explodes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Mario just comes out, punches you in the yep. face. <laughs> Knock it off! <laughs> mamma mia, mamma mia. <laughs> wow, these HD graphics are... <laughs> uh, so uh, I, guess that's, I guess that's about it. So until next time, kiddos, keep on gaming. Show, check out www.4iradio.com. My flappy dick. Oh, indeed. <laughs>